Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. Thanks for watching. I've got a couple items that I want to talk to you quickly about. Some of my favorites from the month of February, but I haven't had anything to eat today. I'm a little hungry, so I'm going to try to just introduce you to some of these items pretty quickly. Uh, the first thing I want to tell you about is this Persona Cosmetics eyeshadow palette. It is gorgeous. Can you see these colors? So this was developed by a beauty blogger, one of my favorites. Her name is Sona Gasparri, and she goes by simply Sona on social media. And she created what is called the Identity Palette for, it's particularly great for people with hazel eyes or brown eyes. I'm wearing it today. A five-year-old could work with this palette. This is my go-to so much that I've actually ordered another one, a backup, because I use it every single day. I think the colors are really versatile. You got a bunch of mattes here and uh, some really stunning but really easy to blend and really easy to work with metallics um, that just add the prettiest sheen. And I'm telling you, I did this coppery look in maybe three minutes today with two eyeshadow brushes. So she just started selling this through Ulta.com, which is where I got mine, but you can also go to Persona Cosmetics online and find it through her website. This next item isn't a new item uh, by any means, but I've essentially abandoned all of my other concealers um, and gone back to this one. Even my Holy Grail Shape Tape, which is like a cult classic now this is age rewind is this maybelline yes this is age rewind from maybelline it's in the shade brightener so this is the illuminator it's got just the pinkiest little tinge it's just like a pinky tinge um but it's so good for correcting under eye circles you just like swipe swipe blend with your oh my god it's it's so 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 good and for you know under 10 bucks i don't think you can beat this and this thing has lasted me forever this is the only one i've ever bought more drugstore cosmetics this is the new wet n wild cushion foundation it's so cute first of all I'm super attracted to the packaging adorable but you've got your foundation right on the inside here it's like a little sponge easy to blend and i've used a lot of cushion cosmetics they can be very expensive if you get them from um, more of a luxury brand and they tend to dry out pretty quickly. I like a cushion foundation to just, you know, be able to swipe it on and do a very easy look in the morning, nothing too fussy. And that's under $10. So if it dries out pretty quickly, I don't care, but I find it to be, you know, just enough dewiness on the skin, but provides a really whole lot of coverage. Okay. The next item is from Essie. This is their Ridge Filling Primer. So normally something that I would just put underneath my nail polish. Look at that sheen, isn't that nice? I just, I don't always have time to get to getting a manicure or painting my nails at home. And this gives like the prettiest, like gloss to your nails, just looks like they're freshly buffed and they look really clean and natural and I've kind of been all about it. So I keep this in my handbag for those, like if I'm meeting with, you know, listeners or a client or something, just so that my nails don't look totally and unfortunately bare. Uh, so this is next item is something that I got in uh, my FabFitFun box. It's by a line called Tristique Cosmetics. And this has been what I put in my handbag now. I just keep it with me all the time because it's got this little magnetic side um, with this gorgeous berry lipstick. But it is also because it's so tapered at the top could be a lip liner. And then on the other side is like a tinted lip balm which I'm wearing today. And I think the color is just so gorgeous. So, you know, this has become a mainstay in my handbag because it's just, again, so easy, very convenient. Okay, the last two things I want to tell you about are a couple of clothing items that I found. This one is from Target. It says, Maz Amor, per favor, which means more love, please, in Spanish. It's from the line, A New Day. This was $10. And everyone loves a good sweatshirt, right? Well, this, I found this little hooded guy. Isn't this cute? It's with the hood on the back. It's like crushed velvet and then sweatshirty material on the bottom. I mean, if you're gonna wear a sweatshirt, you might as well find some fun details like that. And that was from a boutique in the Hamilton Mall. I think it's called Divine. I'll link it below, but they have such cute pieces like athleisure pieces that 
I've never seen anywhere else. Yeah, so that's what I've got for you this month. If you're interested in any of the products I mentioned, I will do my best to link them in the description box below, and I will talk to you next time.